In this lecture, I will teach you how to draw the capacity curves and internal forces for a shear wall. We just model and design the buildings in one of the softwares and we take the internal forces and draw the capacity curves and check whether the building is over designed or under designed or, um, or in balanced design. So that structural members, without checking that, we do not understand whether the structural member is in which design mode. So this is the capacity curves and this is inside is the internal forces for shear wall pier sections. So we have different uh, pier sections and this capacity lines is drawn from this table and this is uh, design force and moment in 2 and moment in 3. So this is the internal forces and this is the capacity line. So let us go for one of the software where we have designed this model this building we are already modeled in this software etabs so we are just going for shear wall design here and check display design in full and we check peer dc ratios apply ok so the design in full for the DC demand and capacity ratio for shear wall for whole shear wall of this building has been uh, displayed. So I will just select object type and walls, select, close, right click and show the selected object only. So here we will just see the shear wall. Okay, now I will just go for elevation uh, or I will just uh, I will just show few shear walls so we can clearly understand it is whole section for one pier. So it is very huge, it will take some time. So this is the core wall. Or quotient wall. I will just select this. Okay. First of all, I will just here all story, and I will select this shear wall pier sections. This one and this one. Okay. The whole pier section for this core shear wall will be selected. So let us see. You can see all this shared wall has been selected. Now right click and select show selected object only. So now we can see the few uh, peer sections if you want to extract the internal forces. So now we just click on this peer section, right click. It is loading, but it will delay a little bit because it is taking some time. So we can see here it is for story one, story ID. It is length is two meter or two thousand millimeter. It is thickness is three hundred mm. Okay. We take here this this DC ratio is this much for top and bottom. And we take this PU design force and momentum two and momentum three. This is for story one. We just write and uh, write for top, and we just paste and type in Excel sheet. For example, we just open Excel sheet. New one. Okay. We take the data we just go here define general peer section for example it was for it 
was for Trimeter. Okay, we just modify show section designer and interaction surface. We select this values and right click copy current curve and go here and paste over here okay cut this one paste here go multiply by sign minus one and multiply by this into enter and drag after lost to be applied for four column. Okay. This is the capacity curve. We'll use so now we just click here and go to the insert. Go for scatter bubble here and right click select data add x values into enter erase this one and axial force enter ok again add remain the series name as it is click on series x values ok this one M3 enter erase this value now again click here axial force enter ok again ok and change chart type this one ok and also Add chart element axis title for horizontal and axis title for vertical. Name here this one axial force as kilometer and here it is moment moment kilometer nature. Okay, and remove the title on it. Now we just take the data for internal forces. For example, we, we have seen in for one story, we can check for another story, for each and every story, we can check here. Okay, so like I have taken the data for, from that share ball. From first story after 30 story over here, I will just copy this value Control C and paste it here. Okay, now I will click here, right click, select data, and I will just add. Okay. first just delete this one make some arrangement right click press add ok series name as it is series X values, click here, momentum 2, drag up to 30 story, erase this value, we'll press here, design force, ABU, enter, ok, again press add, Series name, like the series name, series x axis, 
press this arrow direction select m3 moment 3 press enter erase this one select this arrow design force up to 33 enter okay again okay now we can see the internal forces have been drawn but make some some corrections so that we can see it very clearly okay we have seen the data and now here to chart type change the color okay first change here from scatter bubble line only to scatter bubble here also for scatter bubble only for internal forces okay and change the color as well this one now I will format its color to the red okay and this one also to the left. Okay, this is the capacity line, capacity curves, and internal forces for shear ball from first story up up to thirteenth. This is for high rise building. Okay, now we just escape and select show all object. and 3D okay so like our work is completed this is the capacity lines this is the internal forces this is the table for capacity line and this is the table for internal forces this is the design force, this is the moment in 2, this is moment in 3, this is the graph. Thank you so much for your attention. Hope this picture will help you to design the same capacity curves and internal forces.